makes the drive, stripped for foul, and LeBron James will go to the line for only the third and fourth time tonight. LeBron just got fouled, Spurs up by 4, 90-86, fourth quarter, 31.3 seconds left to go in the game. LeBron about to shoot two free throws, guys. Let me give you guys a glimpse here. Got the first one. Alright. Spurs up by three. That's amazing. Alright, got them both. Spurs up by two. Let's see it, Parker. Best point guard in the league this year. No question about that. Five on the shot clock. Four. Three. Lost his footing. Got it right back up. Puts it up. Ooh. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ooh. <laughs> Icing on the cake. Look at this guy. I mean, look at him. Lost his footing, picks himself right back up, goes glass, and icing on the cake, over the reigning MVP. It should count if you ask me. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, it's going to count. I think it's good. I'm glad somebody else is making that decision. The light is not. It's right there. This just shows you how difficult it is to appreciate. Seriously. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Is that on his fingertips? I think it's good. Let's try this one. I, oh, I see. Now, on this one, I think it's it's off his fingertips. The other one looks like... But if they, oh, right there. Right there. But if they don't have no, it's good. That should be good. Anyway, they have to count it. But they count it on the court. But this one, it looks like you can see a little space from this angle. Oh, that's good. It has to be good. Twenty-one points, nine of eighteen shooting, six assists, zero turnovers. Freaking Parker, man! Fifty percent shooting for the night thus far. If the night isn't over already, sorry about that, guys. Give me one sec. Let me. It's a commercial break. Let me put my uh, camera back on. What a game, to say the very least. What a game, man. Tony Parker, dude. This guy continues to light it up. You know, this. people thought that the Spurs were done in 2008 when they lost um, in the uh, conference finals against LA. But I said, no, you know what? This team will be back. You know, let me get my light on. Sorry about that. <sighs> I don't know. Like I said, guys, if... I mean, whichever team wins, I will not be surprised, you know, because this can go either way. This series is actually very 
reminiscent to the Bulls and the Jazz series in 97, 98, when he thought that it was going to go either way. All right, here we go. Game's on. Yep, shot counted. Have to score quickly. It's got to be a one pass score because they need to make sure they have enough time to foul and then advance it again. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. 5.2 seconds left. Heat ball. The MVP with the ball. Wade blows the bunny. Ball game. That's ball game. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> Defensively, I thought they shared the ball. I thought they got good quality looks. Tremendous road game by the Spurs. Parker, 21 points again, 10 in the fourth quarter. And he's with doors. Tony, knowing you're under serious duress for that shot clock, when you're down on the ground, what's going through your mind? Try to get a shot up. <laughs> I, was, I was going down and I was just trying to stay composed and get a shot up. 10 points in the fourth quarter. From a team standpoint in the fourth quarter, what was so significant about your ability to contain this team? Well, you know, obviously LeBron is unbelievable. Dwayne Wade was playing great. We just try to contain them and try to pack the paint and make sure to take jump shots. Congratulations. All right, thank you. Mike. Doris, they outscore them 23-16 in the fourth, and the Spurs tie an NBA Finals record. The fewest turnovers in a game, just four, none in that fourth quarter. Whereas Miami had five big turnovers. Tim Duncan, two clutch free throws as well. As the San Antonio Spurs there you have it. continue this in 92-88, San Antonio. Icing on the cake right there. Woohoo! TP9. Following their long layoff, San Antonio was ready. Stealing game one on the road. Again, Tony Parker beautifully orchestrating the show. How will Miami respond? Spurs Heat, game two, Sunday night. Alright, there you guys have it man, Spurs steal game one on the road against the best team in the NBA this last two seasons. Um, first off, let me tell you guys why I think this series is very um, much like the uh, 98 uh, finals because um, if you guys recall, um, in 98 during the Western Conference Finals the Utah Jazz swept the LA Lakers four games to none and they had about a I think yeah I, I believe it was a nine day uh, break before the finals began and in the Eastern Conference it was the Bulls and the Pacers where the Bulls were pushed to seven games and when the Bulls barely won in that Game 7 at home against the Reggie Miller-led Indiana Pacers, um, they thought that uh, the, the Bulls were done for uh, going up against the uh, Jazz. And this is exactly what the Miami Heat are facing. Not to mention, the Bulls uh, also lost to Game 1 of that series, of the uh, 98 Finals, um, on the road. And look what happened you know they came back and won the next three games lost four and then won game five now I'm not saying that that that's exactly what's gonna happen to the heat but I'm just saying um, 
after the Utah Jazz won the conference uh, championship in 98, um, every, everybody thought that, you know, well, not, not everybody, but a good portion of people, uh, as in more than 50% of the media, thought that the Jazz were going to take the uh, championship that year and that the Bulls were done for, you know, they were tired out. But look what happened, you know, somebody else had other plans, and that's someone else being that guy right there. <laughs> 2 3 G O A T. If you guys don't know what G O A T means, it's the greatest of all time. Alright. Um, what can I say? Uh, how are the Heat gonna r respond to this? Now, first off, if the Heat do not win game two, they're pretty much done for. Okay, because I don't see the Heat becoming the fourth team in NBA history to win an NBA Finals series when being down two games to none. Now obviously, uh, obviously and coincidentally, the last team to ever come back to win a championship when being down two games to none was also the uh, Miami Heat back in 2006. That was the Dwayne Wade led Heat um, along with Shaq on the team obviously. When they were down 0-2 uh, um, against the uh, Dirk Nowitzki led Dallas Mavericks. Okay, so the Heat are in a must-win situation for Game Two. They have to split split the series at one game one game piece. Going uh, back to the uh, AT&T Center in San Antonio for Games uh, Three, Four, and Five. Because again, guys, keep in mind, as of 1985, which is the last 28 years, the NBA Finals has been. Uh, 2-3-2 um, format, not 2-2-1-1-1, two, two, one, one, one. all right, just like the previous uh, rounds in the playoffs, all right, so that's my take on it, and in case you guys haven't seen my previous uh, videos, um, even before this 2012-13 NBA year even began, I predicted the Heat to become the back-to-back -back champions, now do I want that to happen, no, um, but I'm just calling my prediction, you know, I don't like the heat, I don't love the heat, I don't hate the heat, but I have to call the shots how it is, and the shot is that they are the best team in, in the NBA this last two seasons, whether any of us like it or not. Alright, so that's just my take on it. Let me know what you guys thought of tonight's game. Um, amazing shot by Tony Parker at the end to put the icing on the cake. <laughs> Heading back to... Um, Heading back to uh, American Air Airlines Arena again for game two. Alright, and you guys know exactly what to do, and I will get to you guys soon. Alright.